Okay, this is a little finger stretch um, that I got from a video uh, that was posted by Jody Fisher, who I think is the chair of the LA College of Music or something um, guitar department. Uh, he's written some some guitar exercise books. One's called Thirty Day Guitar Workout. There's some good stuff in there. And um, uh, but anyway, this was a quick tip video he had posted, but it looks like he's taken it down. So I wanted to capture it because I like the stretch and uh, have done some of this. Um, this one's designed to get your fingers to spread wider and in particular between your index and middle which he said he recommends for jazz players who are trying to do these funky jazz chords that are hard to reach. Uh, a couple things that he pointed out were this, that while some exercises are designed to be played um, you know clean and then sped up as you get better at it and, and worked up in speed to develop speed and power and strength um, this is a stretching exercise, and it's designed to be slowed down the more you do it. You can, you can go pretty slow. I do this at like 40 beats a minute if I turn on a metronome to do it, but you want to do it at a slow pace. Um, I'm just going to show it quickly on one string, but he recommended doing it across all strings, and he says that it's harder on the high strings, but I never really noticed that. He thought that the wrist position made it harder um, on your higher strings than on the lower strings, which is a little unusual. Uh, even to his own comments. But anyway, it goes like this. You play, I'm going to start at the ninth fret on my low E string. Play that note. Play the next note. Play the next note with your third finger. When you go, right when you go to hit the fourth note, as that note comes down, you're going to pop your index finger back a fret. One full fret, okay? That's the stretch. So it goes. See how I pop that back? And then start there. Now he, um, see if I remember, I think it went one, two, three, four, one, two, three, pop it back. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, pop it back. One, two, three, pop it back. One, Oh, that's what it was. Okay, I remember now. So it was one, two, three, pop your finger back, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, but with the space in between your first and second. And um, and I think that second pass where you're going, you just get a little more stretch on that as you do it. Now, it's pretty easy up here, but as you get down here, that starts to be a pretty big stretch. And as you do that across all six and you do across here, it's quite a workout to stretch. It really stretches. You'll really feel it in your hand. Um, like I said, I do this at like, I turn on a metronome and do this at 40 beats a minute, which is really pretty slow, like slow as the thing will go. Hopefully you can kind of hear that. All right, so let's just do a little bit of this. stretch. Mm -hmm. 
The other thing he recommended was to just stop as you get down on some of these longer ones and you get a good stretch going. So you got this going, let's say you're, let's say you're here, to just stop and hold that. My glasses fell down while I was doing that. But I'm old so they're bifocals and that helped me see the guitar fretboard better. <laughs> That's okay though, I can see it pretty good like this. All right, so just to hold that stretch is a good thing too. I feel this in my wrist down here, and I especially feel it up through these muscles that are coming down off my index finger all the way down my hand, here and here, and in between. And um, it's a real it's a real stretch. You gotta be careful with this one. If you do a lot of it, especially when you're first starting, your hand can get a little sore from it. So be careful. Don't do too much. Also, let's turn the metronome off. Um, be careful. Now, like I said, he recommended uh, doing this across all six strings even as you get. So you're going to do that and walk it all the way down, then go up and walk this one all the way down, walk the next one all the way down. Right. The other thing he recommended was after you've done this for you know, two or three months and you're doing it every day and your hand's much looser and stretching better. You can do this with a, with a second, stepping over a second fret so you'd go. And now you jump and stretch over two frets. Which, you know, for me, forget it. I already have short fingers and that's even pretty difficult up at the ninth fret. That's about as biggest stretches I'm going to get. But on the other hand, I haven't done this one extensively for long periods of time. I've done it for a week at a time here and there, and every once in a while I'll come back to doing this. Um, in part because I find that my hand does get sore doing it, so I haven't... Um, I, I try when I get any kind of hand pain going on to kind of back off what I'm doing, because uh, I don't want any kind of injury from it. But but that's a good stretch, and I, you know, Jody has taken that one down. I don't know if somebody's had problems from it, or if he's editing it, um, but I didn't want to forget about this one and lose it, so I decided to record it myself. It's a good stretch, a uh, good in a repertoire of other stretching exercises. And there's a good principle there to remember that not all exercises are meant to be sped up and played faster. Some are meant to be slowed down and played slower. So you should always try to know what you're trying to get out of the exercises you do. Okay, that's it.